On today's episode, we pay tribute to the band Ghost by bringing on another tribute to the band Ghost. All this and more on Gonst FM, off air. Welcome, ghouls, ghoulettes, and guests to Gonst FM Off Air, the official podcast companion to 66.6 Gonst FM, the radio station dedicated to the band Ghost and the Gonst community. I'm your host, Richie, a.k.a. Papa X, a.k.a. Papa Me Meredith, as so lovingly named by all of you Gonstlings. On today's episode, I had an opportunity to sit down with Papa from the Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas tribute to Ghost, Ritual. I'm not going to hold you up here too long, and we're going to jump right into the conversation. How's it going, Papa? You doing all right today? We are doing fantastic, my friend. How are you? I'm fantastic having you here now. So like everybody out there, again, uh, the band Ritual from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, is is one of many ghost tribute bands out there. However, I see them probably more often than not on social media, which is a really good thing. So that tells me that like not only do you, you have a growing social media presence, but um, you're expanding a little bit more. Can you tell us about um, getting into... Uh, being a tribute band for Ghost, and what was really the catalyst for starting it? Because I think, if I remember correctly, y'all started around 2020. Am I right? That is that is correct. I, I moved from Minnesota down to Texas, and I wanted to get back into the music scene. And so, I mean, and I saw the the elaborate talent of of music down here in Dallas. And so I was like, I want to get back into into music. I would like to do original, but I really like the tribute things. And I saw the first poster I saw was the uh, uh, Red Hot Ghost Peppers, I think it was, the Chili Peppers tribute down here. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Let's do that. And and I started evaluating who was in the scene already. You know, you have Metallica, you have Iron Maiden, you have all these other bands that are together and, and tributed. And I was like, okay, so who's going to be different? Who's going to be controversial who's kind of in my range and then who's what has made every 80s and 90s and even 70s band famous and popular and worldwide and it was the makeup and i was like okay let me put all these together and dance macabre came up and i was like oh this is it (laughs) And and so Ritual was started in 2020 when I when I put all those pieces together, and it has been such a, such a blessing. That's awesome. And like Dance Macabre, it's it's funny because I got into Ghost probably late 2022. Like I I'm one of the late you know fans of the game, but I hadn't um, really delved into them until then. But I'd heard about them. You know, I'd heard about them back in 2016, but it was always in passing. You know, I would see like T-shirts and Hot Topic and then like a video on the same video walls. Like I saw mm-hmm. the one for Square Hammer. Then I saw a T-shirt when the Co- the Cardinal Copia era came along. And I was like, well, that looks a little different, but let me file that and I'll check it out later. And, you know, ADHD brain had me like, oh, well, I'll get to it later. And then Rats was the song that hooked me. So like, obviously, oh, okay. same album. Yeah, Dance, and then Dance Macabre was another one that I'd heard. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing because it was from one, you know, it's, I, I think Ghost has a ton of subgenres in their own, you know, catalog. So hearing Rats and then hearing Dance Macabre on the same album, I was like, okay, I really need to check the rest of the, you know, the discography out. And it's just a plethora, you know, of things. So that kind of leads me into my question. Like when you guys were put together, what was, what was like the first song that you guys like rehearsed together, or was there kind of a direction of like we're gonna learn this batch of songs and just see where it goes? Like, were we, you positive we that kinda, it was gonna go? Yeah, we kind of put a we could have we put a batch of, together because I wanted to make sure that when we were ready, we were going to get out and and just and hit the stage at least with an opening act, and and so Square Hammer was on there, Ritual was obviously on there, um, Mummy Dust was on there as well. And and then dance macabre and then and then everything just started piecing together and we just started expanding our set list and when I when I originally started I said I don't want to be the exact you know I don't I don't want to be Papa and then I realized that in order for us to be successful 
I needed to invest in Papa. And and this is so so I have evolved. The band has evolved as well. And our set list has ex expanded and involved and 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 we are re now reaping the benefits of the hard work that we as a band are putting together. Right. And that's that's another thing that I think is cool is that the fact that when you all started in 2020, how exciting was it, you know, getting songs under your belt, you know, maybe for a couple of years and then in para drops and it's like, oh, wow, we have an entire new you know stuff like a array of stuff to learn it had to be exciting I, and i think it, for it any really tribute, was yeah for any tribute band i think it's exciting when a band puts out new material in the midst of a run because normally most tribute bands like we mentioned earlier iron maiden kiss there's just a back catalog and iron maiden is still putting music out to this day but most yeah. people go for the classics you know but yep. ghost is still very much in its first 15 years which is still for many bands in infancy even infancy, though they've been around yeah. yeah so you've got five albums and you know several eps worth of material to choose from it had to be a blast you know it, uh, it was as, yeah. so as soon as as soon as uh like phantom mine came out I mean, yes. we, we put together Jesus, He Knows Me. We put together uh, We Don't Need Another Hero. Right. Um, Zenith just came out. And within a week, we had that into our set list because, I mean, Zenith is one of the most powerful songs out there. Yeah. And, and it was like, oh, this is just so fun. And now we look forward to the next, uh, the next generation of Papa and Papa 5 potentially coming up here. So. Right. Yeah, I'm excited for that, too, because that's another thing is like, you know, uh, what were what were some of the challenges? You know, this this will kind of all tie into you know future Papa for sure. But like, what were some of the challenges uh, <laughs> whenever you first started? As far as like, did you have an era in mind you wanted to go with, or like uh, the you know challenges associated? Because I know you guys switch during the set, like you switch eras during the sets too. So so we do, and then and so, well, that's one of the things that brings ritual uh, separate from a lot of, and that was one of the challenges when I looked at like Ghost LV in Vegas. Um, mm spiritus down in houston uh even even uh, uh host in ireland and um pope stars in the uk right. they have one genre and and i said okay how do we present a different product and so trying to evaluate the original plan for ritual was the papa three terzo because that is one of my favorite papas and then expanding it and again going into being the best ghost tribute how do we expand? How do we make ourselves different and in, in expanding into the pop four uh, uh, genre from there was 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 a big key. Putting the makeup on because the masks are relatively new, so going with the makeup and putting learning how to do the makeup and this the contact was the biggest was the biggest challenge there. Yeah, that's a, that's something I've actually noticed about people that just do if they do a tribute or they do cosplay, they say like uh, they most of them have never worn contacts before, and it's it is a challenge at first because, you know, I think uh, most people don't realize that the the concept of putting something foreign in your eye is a mental block. You got to kind of get past it first. I mean, Correct. Because I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know several people that have just phobia about anything touching their eyes, period. And then they'll go to the doctor and they're like, well, I have to get glasses now. And the doctor's like, well, contacts are a little cheaper. And they're like, no, they because they don't want anything touching their eyes. Yeah, so I, yeah, so I just could not imagine it's like, you know, having all this gung ho about doing it. And then it's like, ah, uh, that because for me, that would be something where I'd have I'd have to get over that mental block. Yeah. Uh, does it how is the makeup and everything uh with the mask and stuff because whenever you guys do switch um how is the t uh, the setup time for that because i i know it's got to take a little while to do the face paint and the costume so I've, and I've, I've learned i learned uh early on so in 2022 and 2023 ritual uh we started off with either the cardinal copia makeup or the, the Papa 3 makeup, and then I've okay. always had Papa 4 as a mask. Unless I decided to go as a standalone opening set with Papa 4, then I would do the Papa 4 makeup. But with the mask, then I then during our transition set, we actually have, we used to do Genesis, and we, now we do Miasma as far as giving me a five minute break to be able to change costume. The, uh, the easiest part about this is I actually, when I come on stage as Papa Three or or Cardinal Copia, I actually have three or four costumes underneath, and so I could just strip them off, and then and come out. So it makes it makes the timing a little bit easier on that. 
Right, and I would hope that it's it's at least cooler weather because I can't imagine having layers on. <laughs> Man, Pop the sweat is is going that job. <laughs> Very frequently. Just have a bucket of ice cubes ready. <laughs> the hell, <laughs> bucket of saying? ice cubes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's great. Um, and so, like, as far as that goes, uh, you know, I know you guys play around, you know, Texas or whatever, but I've seen like that you've gotten into Oklahoma before. And yeah. uh, I think you guys just mentioned getting booked in Tennessee in the future. Yes. And you're trying to expand yeah. more. So tell me what that's been like, kind of, you know, uh, branching out outside of your own circle, because most tribute bands tend to like stick to either major cities or just their own local area, you know, for they have fear of crossover. But I feel like in my, you know, just from what I've noticed, uh, you would think that more of the bands are you know, uh, camaraderie is the word I'm looking for. Where mm -hmm. it's like you're all out here, kind of doing the same thing and supportive of each other and stuff. So that, and, and it's it is cool. support. If, if that's what it's. Uh, it's about support. And 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 how what we try to do is we try to present ourselves as a different product. Right. Um, you know, many props to all the different bands that are out there. And that's one of the things that kind of led me also to to Ritual and Ghost is that there's not many of them out there. So you can go to every big city and you'll always see a Metallica. You'll always see a Megadeth. You'll always see an Iron Maiden. You'll always see Queen Drake. Um, I'm surprised really, uh, Typo Negative. You, know, you see a lot of these bands in the area. You don't see a lot of Ghost. So that allows us now to, to offer our product to Ghost fans around the United States. And, and as you said, we are very excited. We did a lot of touring in, in Texas throughout. We recently got into Houston, which is a big... A, a big step for us and and now we have oklahoma we now have an invite in in august we'll be playing in memphis tennessee and possibly nashville we're still fi uh, finishing that up and in july we actually just booked into mississippi over at a new bar down there so, so we're expanding throughout the nation to to give ghost fans the the ghost experience Hell yeah. And honestly, like the next time you guys are in Houston, I want to drive out to see you. I unfortunately had work that day. So like, cause you y'all just played there recently. I'm, I'm about yes, two yes. hours. Yeah. I'm oh, about two okay. hours outside of Houston. So anytime y'all are down there, I would love to come catch a ritual and uh, see you guys and you know, just hang out or whatever. Cause uh, that's one thing that's cool about tribute bands is uh, it gives people the experience of seeing the band uh and we we all know it's a tribute but it, the cool thing about ghost is that we we all know you know what i mean like it's it's all art it's all creative and it's all supportive and i think ghost fans are some of the most diehard fans of yeah. any band i have yeah. ever seen in my life it's got to be cool um you know for any band really but even if, even being a tribute band, it's got to be cool seeing people in the crowd singing back to you or you know just participating and things like that uh, what's what are some of the you know uh, crowd types that you've come across um, and some of your favorites? Like, do you prefer to play like outdoor? Like, have y'all played like outdoor festivals or do you like sharing the stage with other tribute bands where it's a camaraderie of different artists? You know, uh, fans of artists coming in there. So we try to do a, a little bit of both. So what we have done a lot is is we we invite smaller bands that 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 just play music mm -hmm. and and try to get started. One of the things that that I I promised my team and and i promise bands that come along with us is that i want to help build them up i've been in the music scene for 30 years in minneapolis and then down now down here right. and one of the things that, that that i was missing was that that mentoring and the the opportunity to grow as a musician and so my band i i always said hey you know what use ritual as a stepping stone and and let us um help you get to where you want to go and this is where the national tour comes into play because i want to give my 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 band members that that opportunity for the national exposure right same thing with the local smaller bands that, that open for us and play with us whether it's original or, or or tributes as well i love having all of those different genres come out and, and help support each other uh with that Right. I'm the same way, too, because I've, I've played music before as well. I was involved with my local music scene here in town for, gosh, probably uh, maybe 15, you know, 16 years or so. And uh, I still record and stuff. I just don't play live much anymore. But it's, you know, that's the thing. And that's like the real spirit of it is to uh, use your platform to help other people. Because exactly. we're, like like I said before, we're all doing the same thing uh we're all in it together it's you know it's just a big fun communal you know family really and uh 
it's it's beautiful actually you know i i love seeing you know the amount of people that like you wouldn't think they were into it and then you just see them show up in droves it, it's surprising and it's funny so one of one of my uh newer acquaintances is a tribute for brian adams and he goes oh wow papa i absolutely love ghost <laughs> and it's like all the you know because ghost is at the the cool but not cool and and to have all of these these the adults and and kids and you know everybody just comes up and says hey you know what i i, I do love ghost and and the most touching thing is is being able to because ghost fans again they 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 magnetize they're drawn to ghost music for so many different reasons and and the touching thing is when fans come up and say papa i thought i was at a ghost show and 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 thank you for bringing this message you know helping me and it's like that that's to be even mentioned or even compared with papa emeritus and, and tobias is just an honor in general and mm -hmm. and so it, it drives us to be better and and this is why uh, you know i i do the investment for the fans so that they they can they can have that ghost experience right because there's a difference between just being a cover band and being a tribute band 100 you know? percent. because i've seen plenty of both and a lot of times i i've actually had a couple of them that have passed through here like just cover bands just passed mm -hmm. through my area and a majority of their set would be uh i'm just throwing names out there you know just in general like a more majority of their songs would be oh i don't know def leopard or maybe motley Crue or van halen or something and i've you know i've spoken to them and i'm like have you thought about just going full-blown tribute with like any of these particular artists because you would do so well you know exactly. doing that and you would probably make a killer because some of the guys would be like you know some gigs are good some gigs aren't and you know we've all been there fellow musicians you know, like we've been there where sometimes you're playing to two people sometimes you're playing to 200 people but i think as long as you put that energy out there whoever's there is going to remember it and i think it's great that you're able to give that kind of experience to people that may have not been able to go to an, a ghost ritual before yes. but they're able to come see you guys live and share the music because again it's all about sharing with each other and having a good time so like kudos to y'all really you know mm -hmm. it's very awesome and we've actually had and, and, and kudos to you as well for being able to put the message out there because our for example our last show in houston we had a couple of fans out there who had not had the opportunity to to see Ghost yet, so we were the first exposure as a tribute band to right. Ghost, and and so being able to do that with with avenues such as yours as well is just is thank you for having. Me. I appreciate that, man, and that's that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. I uh, I just like helping out uh, anybody involved in the community and uh, sharing the sharing the message, and you know anybody that I can help. Even just, you know, if it's like sharing, like, hey, y'all have a show coming up, you know, in May and on the 9th. Uh, you guys have a show uh, for the Battle of the Bands in your area, which yes. is coming up. And I want people to go to that because we do have uh, quite a few uh, listeners from the Texas area. So that's another thing where it's like, hey, if you haven't heard of these guys, get over there, <laughs> you know, because what that's going to be uh, in Louisville, correct? At, at Chill Bar in Louisville on yep. May 9th, we are our bracket is on uh, for the Battle of the Vans, and and there's been a scheduling change where one of the other tributes couldn't make their date, so they come against ours, and so we are actually up against probably our toughest competition of that of the bracket outside of the System of a Down or uh, the uh, uh, Six, which is the uh, Slipknot tribute. We are we are battling against the system of a down, um, I believe, uh, tribute that night. Man, and that's it's cool that they actually do battle of the bands for the tribute bands too. Because I've been in a few battle of the bands for like locals, and that's even harder. You know, just like yeah. doing it with the original. But like getting out there with your tribute band and doing it, I've got to imagine is one of the biggest challenges because it's not only like okay, like most of the battle of bands I've done locally were like same genre. So it's like okay, we're in the same genre going to a battle of the bands when it's like sure they're all different genres of metal but vastly different system of a down ghost and slipknot are three completely yeah. different you know sounding groups or whatever and i think with that uh like one of my next questions is like um not necessarily tribute band related but just music in general 
what what were your influences like outside of ghost before you you decided to do this because i can't imagine anybody that listens to ghost is not a fan of king diamond because i love king diamond so damn much <laughs> so king diamond is one of my one of one of my vocal heroes uh his his falsetto his the, just the, the thing surprisingly enough one of my biggest influences in in rock and metal in general was striper oh wow <laughs> That's a far cry, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> a very far cry. Um, but Striper, uh, Motley Crue was my first concert. Metallica, Megadeth, King Diamond, uh, Merciful Fate, again, got me down that kind of road. Um, but the clean, Ronnie James Dio, yes. another one. Yes. Um, and Iron Maiden, obviously. Uh, just yeah, those those clean vocals. And then, and then as I progressed in my music genre, I guess you could say, Tim Ripper Owens came into my life yes. and I got into Iced Earth, Amon on Mars, Arch Enemy, and some of those other bands as well. And it's just, it's just been, kind of been building on, on some of that. But my, my, my first true metal love is actually Striper. <laughs> Striper kicks ass though. Like really they do, you know, they people get better might... and better with every album right you know and and that's what i think is uh is wild is you know most people would take one look figure it out and they're like wait really and then you know just maybe write them off but i'm like no if you really stuck around they they've got really good stuff and, really good stuff and yeah. that's actually one of one of the challenges that i have uh with with the band and and in life in general because uh putting people into the band and that's kind of nice how my ghouls and ghoulettes are are anonymous because there are some some of my members that have said, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore because of the messaging. Right. We don't do the messaging. We we perform the songs and the, the theatrics of Ghost. Right. But but sometimes people can't separate the tribute from the music or or the message, and and that was one of the hardest things. And even girls, uh, Papa Papa dates once in a while, and there have been girls that have said, Papa, I can't talk to you because. You're evil. And I go, I'm not evil. Papa's not evil. No. Papa's horny, but not evil. Right. No. <laughs> true. Very true. <laughs> and it's it's funny because I, I remember uh somebody forever ago was telling me they were just like, Oh wow, like they never heard a ghost and I was showing them and they're like, Wow, like what am I in for? And like he looks, you know, they were like, Oh, this guy looks they didn't even know his name. They they were just like, Oh, this guy looks like he's gonna tear my head off. And I'm like, if you only knew how much the uh, persona of Papa Emeritus the Fourth is actually just a giant teddy bear, but he's very awkward. <laughs> it's like if very you only true. Knew, you know, it's like if you only knew. So it's cool uh, to know that it's like you guys are still keeping the anonymity intact as well. You know, like that's um, it's hard this day and age with social media to do that. So if yep. you're still able to do it, hats off. That's a that's a good thing. It is now. Now, before the shows or after the shows, my my ghouls and ghoulettes, they do they do prance around. They do introduce because one of the things that we want to do is is we make ourselves open for the crowd and, because they're there for us and they're there for ghosts. So we we thank them for the coming out to the shows. We and, and we introduce ourselves because we are we are just normal normal people, and right. uh, but we have we have a passion for this project and we have a passion for the fans that are out there uh, to to. Uh, I call it celebrate the sights and sounds of Papa and Ghost. Absolutely, man. And, you know, uh, it's cool to see you guys grow. Like as, like I mentioned before, we really started, you know, getting into it. Just seeing you guys have a growing presence on social media has been fantastic. And knowing that you have more gigs lined up and that you're still having future ones like out of state. Uh, I really, really wish you guys all the success that will come your way. And I thank you so much for coming to hang out and sit with me on on Gonsta film off air this has been a blast if you have anything anytime. yeah you're welcome back anytime you want to come on dude if you have anything that you want to plug before we get out of here tell the people where they can find you and anything else you'd like them to know Excellent. well yes i appreciate the opportunity to come out here it's been a blast and i absolutely love being able to do this for for you and the fans but we Absolutely. are found on facebook there's a personal and a band page at ritual dfw and then on those are Facebook and Instagram is the same. Our website is ritual.banzoogle, 
bandzoogle.com, B-A-N-D-Z-O-O-G-L-E.com. Um, we have shows in, the, like I said, the Mississippi one is coming up. But if you follow the Facebook page or the friend page, we'll have all the posters coming up. And that's one thing, too. If you come up to the shows, there's a chance that you will get a, a limited edition show poster with our signed set list on the back. We, we sign our set list because we just thank you for the fans that come out there. So you get a signed set list a lot of times with the, with the show poster as well. Awesome, dude. Everybody out there listening, if you want to scroll up to the show notes below, I will have links provided everywhere so that you can just click it and go. And if you're in the area whenever Ritual is playing a show, get out there, hang out with the band, grab a signed set list, maybe have a drink with Papa. Who knows? The sky's the limit. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, Papa, I appreciate you coming on to the show and hanging out with me, man. You're welcome back anytime you'd like to come on and Richie. I will see you. Yeah. Huh? Rich, I said thank you very much for having me. Uh, yeah, dude, blast. absolutely. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. So uh, everybody out there listening, take care. And Papa, I'll see you in internet land, my friend. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, bud. Take care of yourself.